Father, we love you, Jesus. In the mercy we live with, oh no, see your lead, oh no, see your lead. Jehovah, many more, oh many more. In the mercy we live with, oh no, see your lead, oh no, see. Aha, Jehovah. Let me hear you sing. In the most beautiful way. Oh. 
have three testifiers this morning and um, I'll be calling our mommy first prof oh you come me please come forward ma to give your testimony encourage mommy please our god is a good god rama sekeriga sondorobo shenderia thank you jesus amen One, one of my granddaughters is 17 years old today. Praise God. So I'm praising God for her birthday. Amen. Then the second testimony. This story started about four years ago. I have a house in the Kurudu area. And one day, one man came and said he wanted to rent a flat. That he is a classmate of my nephew. I mean, he told me a very sweet story. So he rented the place. I didn't even take security deposit. He paid six months in advance instead of the usual one year. Stayed there. After some time, the story changed. 
he refused to pay rent. As of last year, he was owing me two years' rent. We took him to court. After begging him more, we took him to court. We got judgment. The court bailiffs said they need policemen to accompany them. Policemen said they need higher authority because the man has gone. He, he has a security outfit and he has gone. And the policemen were afraid of ejecting him so that he won't draw a gun on him. To cut a long story short, he stayed till he was pleased. So last week when we came and pastor was saying, ask for only one thing that you want God to do for you before this week. I first thought of my health. I thought of my children. I said, God, you have answered those ones. This man that is tormenting me, just get him out for me. Because the usual story we hear is of landlords tormenting tenants. But when landlord is now saying tenant is tormenting her, he gets as he be. <laughs> so I said, God, only you can get this man for me. Lo and behold, by Saturday, he called one of my cousins. He had blocked my number, blocked my lawyer's number. So he called one of my cousins and said he wants to return the key. By Sunday, when we came to church, he returned one padlock, the other 13 doors, no key. And then the Nepal card. Those were the only things I could get from him after owing me two years' rent. But I've just come to give thanks today that he has gone. At least I'll be able to get other tenants. I thank God for all the goodness. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you are a tenant here, I say if you are a tenant here, as a child of God, you've got to pay your rent. You've got to pay your rent. Because the fire that will be rained on you, you must leave. The person won't be praying for you. I have a tenant that was there for four years and never paid. And when he was going, he took the keys. I had to go to the church he was going redeemed to collect my key. You are a child of God. And the next one that I entered to was there. After two years paid. After three years, she refused to pay. And the time I called her, as a matter of fact, she was even abusing me. I said, God bless you. I said, I pray for you that you will build your house. But what you have done for me, they are going to do it for you. Because you cannot do that. Somebody will sweat, build a house, and want to be taking rent. So even this one, I said, how much do you want to pay? I don't want to ask what they pay in the area. How much can you afford? He said, this is what I can afford. I said, okay, pay one year. After one year, that was the end. Why? And he's a child of God going to church. I had to look for the church because... He converted part of my, for fellowship. I asked where. They told me, the, I went there. The pastor listened, said, please don't worry, I'll collect your key. And he did. When I entered the place, he converted the garage to bedroom and was taking rent. He had, he had shower in the garage and begged for the person. And yet you stayed there for about three years without paying. God will judge. I'm always so happy because I'm in the hands of God. Because when God starts dealing with that person, I'll be praying, Father God, it's enough. Because there's no way you can deal with a child of God and go, so it's not possible. I have my, ne my, leg, my knees on the ground to pray. Don't be like that. Don't be a tenant that a landlord will start praying for you to leave. Let that landlord pray and say, you will go and build your own house. Because you will change that place and make it a place of abode for somebody that is coming. Praise the Lord. I say, uh, tenor, praise the Lord now. Uh -huh. Jesus is Lord. Sister Olayemi, please come forward. Encourage her. Praise God. Praise God. Um, so this testimony is long overdue. Last year, May, April, May, 
I was diagnosed with something that um, it was supposed to be a lifelong thing I would be managing. And I realized that I'm too young to do that. I mean, I'm sorry to those that have to deal with lifelong things, but I realized that I have God and I can pray this away. So there's this prayer I usually join. I started praying and I realized that I have never asked God for stuff the way I did last year. I prayed and I fasted towards me being healed and God heard me. And, and God heard me because it is all gone now. I have gone back to test and I am fine. And I don't have to manage anything. And this testimony, I should have given it because I told God, once you do this, I'm not a regular testifier, but I will testify to this one. And he has done it and I'm here to say thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Your healing shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'd like to call Sister Shege. I didn't want to please come forward, please. Encourage her. Encourage her. Encourage her. God is good. Good morning. Please permit me to say my testimony on my knees. Um, I just want to thank God for bringing me back home safely. I've been out of the country for so many years. I made several attempts to come home. It fell through. For a number of years, I didn't have a permit. I was in South Africa. I couldn't go out. God came through for me. So many testimonies along the way. When I was living for South Africa, Pastor Miriam and Pastor Dapo individually declared upon me that I will come back as two company. I'm here with one presently. This is not the time to give my extensive um, testimony. I have to write it and I will send it in. I give glory to God for that. Yes. I just thank God. After nine years, I can step my foot in Nigeria again. God, I thank you. And when I was coming, I took the, the Rwanda airline in transit. When I got to Kigali, after scanning, as we were about to board the plane, I discovered I couldn't find my phone. I went back there. They searched through the CCTV. They couldn't find my phone, and the guy was saying, that's over, there's nothing we can do. I, I, I said, God, have mercy, you know. Holy Spirit, have mercy. I, not, I will be keen to the Holy Spirit. Even though I'm not in church, Thursday showers, I'm giving my test, I'm giving my, I'm attending Thursday showers. It's also another, another, another thing is that I could say this is my first time Worshipping in this auditorium. <laughs> Even though I've been worshipping online, I give God the praise for it, you know. I've been connecting with the midnight prayers, Thursday showers, Tuesdays, Tuesday Bible study, you know, like, I'm still in church, and I thank God for that. Being in church saw me through. I thank God for that. The prayer unit of our Pastor Mary, you know, I just thank God for the Fountain of Life Church. As, it, as the plane was about to taxi off, one of the officials from the, for the Rwanda Air just rushed in and said, where's the lady that lost her phone? This is your phone. I give God all the praise. The people in the, in the aircraft were amazed. They're like, how can this happen? And I know it's only God. I give God all the praise for this. I'll come back with my second, my, my, my second company and I'll come back with my extensive testimony. God, I thank you. Praise the Lord. Our God is a good God. You know we have been taught in this church. The real word. If you are legal, I'm not saying illegally. You are legal. That means you live by the word of God. Only for what saw you, you can say yes. Because when you face God, you, God, just check me. Baba, I check me. Baba, I will count me. Am I lying? No. So, help me, Lord. Because I am real before you. You don't walk any, anybody fake. When you are doing something that is not right, you will know. Just ask for forgiveness. Turn and face God. It might look very difficult, but God will do it. 
Once you hold on to him, he will do it. I know he will do it. Because there's no failure in his record. No, no failure. I've never heard that. No failure. So what is that thing that is so difficult? That's nine years. But she knew who she was. And she's been praying. People who are over there are praying and connecting. We that we are here, we are not even happy. Webinar, I know day. Thursday shower, I know come. Sunday, when I like. Ha ha. These are serious times. Oh, serious times. I now, look, the way I pray in the spirit all the time, eh? Hey, 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 hey. Anything that flies like this. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. I, look, I mean, I, I don't know how to pose. You know, you know, some people can't pose. Hello, how you doing? Oh, you good? Are you, are you parents? It's a lie. Just be real with God because God knows everything. Whether you pose and you enter and you are taking Gary, he knows. So come and pose here and say you have money when you don't have. People will not help you. Abi? Hey, hey, now. But don't pose. Just say the way it is. And God will help you. Don't pose. Because people won't be able to help because you're posing. They think you have it. They won't even come. Your, like Pastor Yedepo, he said, I saw a, a guy. His shirt was wearing. I can't forget that testimony. He's torn. Torn at the back like this. And he said, hey, if you don't mind, though, I have some nice shirts I like to give you. He said, no, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> he said, hey, oh, okay, you are fine. He can see the torn shirt. I said, you are fine. What's that? Is he not posing? Huh, please don't pose. Do you know whether the millionaire that's going to help is sitting next to you, even though he's wearing rubber slippers? Excuse me? Let's say the word it is. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Sorry, that's weird. Me, I'm just, you know, very real. I love you too, darlings. So, now it's time for our offering while the, um, the instrumentalists give us um, a beautiful worship song. We're going to be praising the Almighty Father. And I want you to praise Him as they are ministering like you have never praised Him before. And that thing that you need from Him, let it be in your heart. Telling him that, Father, I know. I know who you are. It is done already because you are aware of it. And then in that, you live in that, that it is done. Not say it is done. I say, everybody say, what's wrong with you? I don't know. Ah, then this is not done. Because your action does not show that it is done. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father God, we bless our offering. We give it joyfully. We give it lovingly. We give it willfully. We know that, Lord, as we send it forth, it shall accomplish that which we want. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>
please have your seats. Praise the name of Jesus. We thank God for those testimonies. Thank God for Prof's testimony. And Sister Shea, thank God for your testimony. And other sister, God be perfect. All that concerns your health. In Jesus' name. Now, when mommy was talking about the tenant that wouldn't pay her, I was just saying, God help us. Now, there are some people that are just wicked. They just choose to be wicked. And there are some that don't have genuinely, that wish to pay, but they just don't have the means to pay. You know, God is merciful. And God will not allow us to see shame. I mean, those that are wicked, I mean, that wickedness is in them. God will sort them out. But there's some people that genuinely things are tough. They just don't have. God is ever merciful. And God will come through for such in the name of Jesus. I mean, it's not a pleasant thing to have not to have a roof over your head. Praise the name of Jesus. And to have a roof over your head and can't pay, it's, it's, it's trouble. But for as many as are trusting God for an intervention in that area, God will come through in the name of Jesus. I mean, it's, I know how, how many stories we hear every day, people that can't pay rent. God will come through in the name of Jesus. And for the landlords that are being owed, God will, can I, just say God will pacify your heart. <laughs> Praise the name. Because I mean, it's, some people have built to live off. And then when you're being denied your, what is due to, you can be paying for, I mean, 75 year old mommy, having to be tormented by a tenant, it's not the best. But God is merciful. Praise the name of Jesus. So if you're here, you're owing your rent. You have and you can't, and you, you choose not to pay. We leave you. But those that don't have and are trusting God, God will come through in the name of Jesus. You can't feed your family, God will come through. You can't pay your school fees, God will come through. God is ever merciful. But the. the Hallelujah. God is ever merciful. Ever merciful. The Bible says that God is rich in mercy. So when you're in a tough place, just ask God for mercy. Our mercy will speak for us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Good morning, sir. Thank you, sir. Pastor Femi. I appreciate Pastor Femi, ladies and gentlemen. Glory be to God in the highest. Somebody came expecting something. Ah, you see, I got it because just very few people. You think it's normal? This is not church as normal. In the name of Jesus. I say this is not church as normal. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, Holy Ghost. Take control. We give you praise, Father. We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. Come on, give praise. Give praise. Give praise. Give praise. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory, 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 they just praise God. Everybody just worship and praise. Worship and praise. My shakata braka sota braka shandara ba. Randa poroba ba ba. They that worship Him must worship Him in spirit, in spirit and in truth. That's what we require. In spirit and in truth. No pretenses. No guy. Give Him the best you can. Ma shakata la ba ha ha. Ma poroba ba shakata ba 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 ba. Randa ba, furaba, shakata ba ya ba ba. Oh, mara ba, kashakata la ba 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 ba. 
My life hold again Spirit I want you to mean every word <laughs> Holy Spirit me now. Hallelujah to challenge my key, right? Okay. So he says, Holy Spirit, move me now. Make my life whole again. So move over me. Spirit. And then we say, Spirit flow. Oh, Spirit. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him honor. Glory be to God in the highest. I don't want to extend the time. Aren't you glad that the demon that was going to make us have no money to spend is in trouble? I should say, no, she. And they have done so many like that. They will reverse it. Completely in the name of Jesus. We are not what? Uh, really, that will not work for it. I don't know how to inter interpret it. We are not bastards. My people, but if you be in the New Testament, say, my children, call by my name. God has children here. In this country, Nigeria. And this year, it shall be known. That God's children are in this country. In the name of Jesus. Oh, the devil, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what the devil is thinking. I don't know how people submit themselves to the devil. In the name of Jesus, it shall be proven. And all that matters, we give him praise. Maybe I should ask you to see that for a while. Because I feel like taking about three testimonies, but please, no stories. So the testimonies take too long. That's my challenge. When somebody's going for testimonies and we're on him or half or hi, come on. I'll take three. If the three is a uh, testimony is good. If there are no testimonies, if there are stories uh, before, when we are calling testimonies. Or you didn't come on time. We serve the living God. <laughs> He's not dead. He's alive. Testimony new. He's a story. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, church. God bless you. I have two testimonies. 
There are many. Oh, the amen. Spirit. Come back. I didn't hear anything. I called him. I said, oh boy, what is going on? He said, they have not given all the spirit of fear. Yeah. But the spirit of boldness and of a sound mind. So where did you put your God that you say you are fear? Don't be scared. You will go to wherever they will post my team. <laughs> and my second testimony, God is great. Pastor had been talking about you. Before we started the last fire fasting, he was measuring February 5th, February 5th. He, was, he kept measuring it. He said we should put a demand on it. I said, God, my brother in UK that have been looking for a job for years, he got a job, and when he got there, the, the second man there told him that, come on, let us for his life. He said, if I join you to kill this one, that means I will be the next person. So he have to run. That was how he abandoned that job. And since then, no job. So we have been trusting God. So when pastor was measuring February, call him for appointment. Then we call him for a permanent job. And guess what? On the Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My life has been a, a series of hills and valleys. Uncertain. I, I didn't know what to do. Uh, I joined Fountain physically when we reopened, um, I think the January 2021. As God, this is what I want. But I just said, I'm here. I'm connecting with you. I'm talking with you. And yeah, you know my heart. Everything that I've been working towards has now been achieved. But... Two weeks before I got the good news I've been waiting for, I got a life-threatening disease, a sickness, and I was in the hospital for up to a week, and I thought that things were going to stop there. And it was like the devil was like, you're not going to get what you wanted. After I came out of the hospital, recovering, I finally saw the miracle I've been asking God for, and I was like, yes. The waiting room is real. I'm so grateful for it. Amen. Amen. More grace. More testimonies. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Result from the hospital. Hoping to die in the next few days. But, Pastor, we send um, Brother Sylvester to come and check me in the hospital. When that one comes into the hospital, Another person telling me that by his stripes you are healed. I held on to that. All I just have to say is thank you, Lord. For the past 26 years, I thought I was going to, I was placed on drugs of 35,000 naira every month 26 years ago. Fountain of Life, great church. They took care of everything. They said my parents shouldn't even bother. Pastor Dapo, God bless you. Pastor Tago. God bless you. God strengthen you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. I can take... Okay. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I want to say thank you to Pastor, Pastor Taiwo. Thank you very much, <laughs> Thank sir. you. Um, last week, Thursday, I came in here. I... During my quiet time on that day, I remembered we had our morning devotion at all on that same day. I remember that I used Pastor Taiwo's book. I used it over the years. 121 days of faith, of blessing. And I remembered that what he talked about that day was on protection. I picked promises also. I picked promises at home too. The promise I picked that he will provide for me. I said, what will he provide for me? I really don't need money. I just need to get money. I just need, my mother has gone to the bank. I will, she will draw money and I will come home. She will come home and then I will go and buy the drugs I need. But I didn't know that what happened in Nigeria will not allow her to draw money from the bank. So when didn't know what to do. But I thank God because somehow God provided the money. God provided the money, but somehow when I was I really don't know what would have happened to me. Praise God. Yeah, let me just say something. God bless you. Many more testimonies coming in Jesus' name. God just reminded me to let you know. I mentioned it with past, but while I was preparing to put it in the announcement, I got talking to someone. Say, yeah, why? I said, because, you know, the Monday one was a little, sorry, the January one was a little, you know, we were shifted forward or shifted the month starting Wednesday. That's good, you know. Said, okay, okay. Holy Ghost just said to me, why not? I said, yes, sir. And immediately by that 
night I wasn't sleeping. He said to me, say, you are preaching on the faith. Say, they have planned for the faith. Say, they have planned for the faith. Say, that's why you have to do it. I heard. I'm, I'm against them. And it's against them. You hear more testimonies. In the name of Jesus. You are in the feet, the feet, the feet everywhere. The plan to remove you, we remove them and their, and their generations. Them and their generations. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout Holy Ghost. That's a testimony. Hey, Pastor. Good morning, church. Uh, I don't really have it. Even when I come in, I didn't have a testimony. But when Pastor walked in and we were praying, we were singing Holy Ghost, move me now. And I felt that presence. It was like, I can't describe it. Like, it was rushing through praying spirit and there's a problem in front of you. And for you to visualize that problem and keep praying in tongue, it has been a issue for me. I cannot. I found myself, I, I, the issues, it was like this. I, it was in front of me. And I was praying in spirit and I was tackling it. While I was sitting there, I was praying. When, when pastor said, I can take three testimonies. I said, hey, God, she, you will not come and give this testimony because I know within my spirit that I mean, go and give this testimony. I, I did Jesus. I sat. So I was praying in my spirit. Ah, God, these three people have come. Good morning, church. Good, Good morning. morning. Praise the Lord, church. Firstly, I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. And last week when I was here, when we were about rounding up and pastor said that we should ask God for one thing and I came into it for the life of my daughter, to the glory of God, I have three girls. So the last, the last baby, she's the baby of 10 months, I took her to the hospital yesterday to run some tests on her and to the glory of God, what I've been praying for, what I've been asking for God, for God, from God, for her life, God did it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God. By the way, you're looking more handsome, man. <laughs> no, I meant it. I want to thank God that I'm alive today. Hallelujah. And I also give God the glory for his word. Hallelujah. That has been coming constantly regardless of every situation I face. I always see the hand of God and the word of God became life to me. Two years ago, I was sick. Very, very sick to the extent. I don't know that I was sick until it became very worse. That I was rejected from two hospitals because before I was finally admitted at emergency at Lutz. But in that hospital bed, God came through for me Amen. financially and all that. To the extent, somebody, uh, there was a time we wanted to pay some money, and somebody called me and said, You will pay that money, but I will stop going to church, is that we will pay the money. I'm like, there's nothing to discuss about this. But after I was discharged, I kept on praying for the person I told one of my brother, and he has been coming to church back. Then, in that hospital bed, God gave me a word, uh, Isaiah 58, verse 8, that my health will spring up speedily. So, my head spring up speedily. I don't stay up to a week in that bed. And in the following week, I came back to church. And everybody was surprised. Like, ah, oh, I thank God for that. Hallelujah. And a few months later, because the drug I was using, uh, the drug they gave me was giving me some reaction. I was getting depressed and all that. So, I stopped the drug. And a few months later, the thing came back. The pure effusion. So I went to, I started feeling the symptoms and all that. I went to the hospital and they said I was diagnosed with pleural effusion again. So I was like, ah, I would like to go through all this surgery, all the money and all that. But I kept on praying and God gave me another word. Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent his word and healed them from their diseases and bring them up from their destruction. I kept on meditating of this word and the word came back to back like every day. The word came became flesh to me. And I was given some drug and I started using the drug again. And at this time, I can't breathe very well. I can't do anything. I was 
I was struggling. So I went back to the hospital. I did another test, and they said, they diagnosed me of cardiomegaly. They said I have a large heart now. And the funny thing now about the doctor was like, my BP was normal. Everything was normal. And they were like, ah, how are you doing? I said, I don't know. So I kept on praying. I said, God has already given me his word, that he sent his word and healed me. And I kept on meditating on that word. And a few weeks later, I became like very down. I, was, I, can't, I can't stand up. My, people don't see me in church. They make and everybody. They call me. I said, I'm very sick. And to the glory of God, I still held on to that word on that position. And the, the, like three days later, I went to the hospital to do checkup. They did everything. They, they test me, and they said everything was okay. Like, my heart, everything was perfect, and I give God the glory. All the glory. And your health will be perfect and remain perfect in Jesus' name. Yes. So, no more person joining them. This is okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning to our pastor. Good morning. God bless you. Um, I'm a daughter of testimony, but I will try to be brief. Since 2012, I was preached to, to give my life to Christ. Um, I'm just uh, five years in Christ, but since 2012, a woman preached to me, but I was in the world then. I was into drugs, different kind of, any bad thing that woman being is doing apart from killing. I do all things. I always be on the street. But God make me to understand that I need you. Even when I'm smoking, a madman does work. See, see pastor smoking. I just check my back and say, we will retail it. But I don't know what he's trying to say. But for me to surrender, I always tell people that I didn't give my life to Christ. My life was taken by Christ. Because... I, to, for me to give my life to Christ, I go through that devil passage. I went to prison. I have to run mad to tighten rehab for days. I spent three months at Abeokuta at rehab. My leg have to break because when I, uh, I went to beach and out to enter the water, and I said, in case you this water have power, please, I want you to be protecting me. That day I have accident with that leg. So, and he come to me and said, you don't need anybody apart from me. I was so stubborn, dragging with God, struggling. We normally say, we call ourselves FOG, fear of God. We don't want to know about tomorrow. We just want to smoke today and die tomorrow. But God said, I want you. So I give my life 2018. But since 2018, things turn around. The turn around is... I want to tell you about the turnaround. I don't have any results. Secondary school is pass out or you uh, fail out. I fail out. But now, I have, I'm a CEO of a company. I'm, a, I'm expecting twins. I even, I had Thursday now because as a CEO, I can choose when to work. I have, since I've removed Sunday working, I said, now, in my contract, Thursday morning is not, it's out of it. So if you are not paying me, and last week, last week, I'm not in the church last week, I want to go and tender a, a proposal. And the thing was like, go to church first and before go to, and the person said, it's very early in the morning. I was so angry, and I feel that the, that day was so, I can't even get the job, was, I'm so very angry that I missed Thursday shower for this, for this contract. Oh, me, anything again apart from Thursday shower before anything. So I want to thank God that giving me the turn around, it, it changed the story. As in, because the story for 34 years, it gives another four years. It does bring the story like change, change, change. I just want to say thank God. Thank you. Because for struggling with you, you are only the reason why I'm alive today. And I'm not supposed to be here. Because I'm supposed to be on bola, smoking. But now, I'm owing mic in front of church. Ah, oh, oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to say thank you, Lord. 
Hallelujah. Amen. God said to tell you that he's making you a testimony. You haven't seen anything yet in the name of Jesus. The devil should try, but you are anymore. That is, you will outlive them. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Good morning, Pastor. Good, Good morning, morning, Church. Pastor. I initially wasn't coming. I, was, I, I did not plan to come out for testimony, but I remembered February 5th. I just changed accommodation for a purpose. When God sends you an assignment, it will not look palatable. The former place we were staying wasn't the place I wanted to stay. Immediately we got there, and the way the landlady was talking, started talking about people I'd never met, discouraged me. I felt like, I'm not ready for this drama. I don't want anybody that will start telling me about people. So I left. But by the time I got home, some days after, the Holy Spirit ministered to me that, is that same place I should go? Abana, I do not want to go. But he said, if you are willing and obedient, you will hear the good of the land, even if it doesn't look like my package. We went into that apartment to fix the apartment alone by my budget and what was on, on the paper. We spent almost like 350 to fix the apartment to look like what we can stay in. We stayed in that season. It wasn't easy, but the king of glory was with us. I do not tell pastor the place that I was staying at that particular minute. Because when I got there, I realized that the place I entered was a, lion, was a lion's den. But God kept me because of instruction. I never knew that God sent me there to just wake up and be doing what I know how to do. Consulting my father every day. I never knew. He used me to go and break some chains in that house. By the time I was leaving, on Sunday 29th, while pastor was ministering, it was as if somebody was speaking to me beside me. He said, I know my sheep and they know my voice. I heard that before Sunday, leave that apartment. It was an urgent call. Pastor said 5th, February 5th. That, that was on Sunday. Before Sunday leave, I was looking around. Did pastor say anything about leave the apartment? I knew it was the Holy Spirit. I ran home, I told my husband, I said, if I mean, you know I was still relaxed because the eviction notice that she gave us will still, um, will still last for February. I said, me and I was still taking time to say, okay, the place we've got in, maybe we'll go next week. I said, Holy Spirit said we have to leave now. And truly, on Friday night, due to the foil thing, the truck man came to park late in the night. On Saturday morning, being the kind of grooming we're given here, no matter the seat the person so we have to get good seed because it's all about it majorly today. I went back there to sweep the whole house, to clean the whole house. While I was doing that, people in the neighborhood came around because we're always having... Uh, programs for the children and giving them food. They came to help. And while they came to help, I never knew what happened to this woman. All of a sudden, there was this anger all over her. She started cursing her children, not us. She said, whoever blesses us is blessed and whoever curses us is cursed. So there's nothing to even negotiate about that because I know who I am. I am planted here and I know what is inside of me. And she was raining curses that you can never hear from a mother, even if you are not the one that gave her to that child. That sin left. I left, but the most amazing part, the kind of apartment I told God in the secret, said, Father God, I built people's houses. Father, give me a place, a place of rest, that I will know that I'm leaving in the morning, I'm coming back, I have no issue with people, it's just doing that which you have called me to do. This one, the only thing we did was packing in, fix slight bulbs, cute apartments. It's good to serve God. <laughs> Training season is extremely important for us, we can't run away from it. If there's one thing here, it's practical that I've learned from here. We go through practical every day and I see the seed. Today I can say it anywhere that when I speak, I speak. Hey, hey, hey. How they go? Thank you, Jesus. Um, did I hear you well? Sister, did I hear you well? God, um, you had a problem where you were living? And then you had to change her house. Oh. Listen more to God. But God is on your side. No, I mean it. God is on your side. God bless you. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I'm presently um, waiting on the Lord for your testimony. And when pastor said that, um, if you have a testimony, you should come. I sat there and the Lord told me that 
the testimony that I did for you, I've actually stood in the congregation of the people to tell him, to tell them about it. So I struggled and to the glory of God, I came. About 2016, I think, thereabout, I got married. And six months after the wedding, I lost my husband. And I remember that time, thank God for family, thank God for the church. Um, I attended the redeem then. And um, thank God for God. Thank God for his word. Because I was like, I'm a child of God and I've known God all my life. And I just couldn't understand why that happened to me. So I, I was like someone drowning and I could not understand. But God, thank God for his word, thank God for, for spiritual songs. And God used that to uplift me. I remember one particular day, I was taking my birth and I told God. I said, I would mourn my husband for one year. And I would serve you as if I have no other thing to do for that one year. And I told him that after that one year, the first person that comes my path, I'm going to marry him. So God, just do it right. And I did that. To the glory of God, after exactly one year, God brought my husband my path. He's one of the best men anyone can ever have. When God gives you a gift, yes. the gift is always complete. Yes. It had no sorrow to it. Like I said, presently I'm waiting for a testimony and I bless him because I know that I would get coming to here today is just God. Because this is like, I think my second time, my first time was many years ago and every time I was out of combat, so that was like a, I was like a remote that somebody was driving. I drove all the way here. In 2021, the devil raised up his ugly head and wanted to take my husband. He came through COVID. He was almost dead. I, we, I took him to the COVID center around 11 a.m. God raised help from nowhere. He was one of the longest dead person there. And one particular night, I came out and and I saw a young boy, most likely a teenager, praying, I guess, for his family. And my spirit told me, this is what you're meant to be doing. And God, I prayed. Truly, the Bible, will teach, the Bible says that God will teach you to make war. God taught me. Prayer points that I don't know came my path. I prayed and I felt presence. I prayed and I was, I, I was wowed myself. And to the glory of God. He was discharged. Though he's discharged, when he was discharged, it was still scary because he couldn't walk from here to here. You think he actually ran 200 marathon. But God kept him. And to the glory of God, it's going to be another year than April. And I just give God the glory. And I thank him for what he has done, what he's doing, and what he's here to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. Wait a minute. I heard it. He said, the Egyptians you saw, you will never see again. In the name of Jesus, you have crossed to your promised land. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, the spirit realm is real. When we say the spirit realm, we're not talking of just God's realm. God is the king over all. The Bible expressly, I mean, states, God is not a spiritual, God is spirit. And they that worship him shall worship him in spirit and in truth. If you don't have the capacity to worship him in spirit, then you are not a spirit in the sense of communicating with God. That's why Romans we say, anyone that does not have the Holy Spirit in him is not his. Clear. 
So what am I saying? They are the problems. They mix with you, but they are agents. I've had some tests. You don't, you don't understand. I understood a lot of the testimonies. Because God reveals to me, as I was saying, I knew, yeah, that's it, that's it. They don't know. There are some testimonies I had today. I never, in my wildest dream, open my mouth and say, Jack! To the bed. One or two that walks close to me will be shivering where they are sitting. I'm talking things over years. There was a set plan to upset this house on the feet. But God disgraced them. Wala, what is she better than you? I'm not joking. <laughs> See, you had testimonies, feet, 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 feet. That, that's, that's why church is not. Excuse me. Church is spirit. Although we are in the flesh. Someone shout hallelujah. Amen. Aren't you glad you are in church? Okay, very, very, very people say, just say amen. Don't need to say yes, sir. Just say amen. Yeah. But some are not glad they're in church. Eh? If you're glad in church, say amen. Yeah. <laughs> I know you are glad you are in church. Okay, we give him praise. We give him honor. We worship him. We adore him. You were playing a song. It was, whew, I wanted, almost started singing. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. Mm, down. You have to worry. And don't you be afraid. Ooh. Joys of sin. In the morning. Troubles burn.
You may be seated. God bless you. Thank you, choir. You are so great. Hallelujah. Let me start with the scripture. It's just a coming that you start from there. We need to we need to do it quick. Yeah. Glory be to God in the highest. Oh, yes. Let me pick the very verse. A bit five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Aha. Romans 8 9. It says, but you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit, capital S, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. So what makes you be in the spirit? What makes you be not in the flesh? What makes you a spirit being? Because the spirit of God is in you. Remove that, you're not a Christian. Are you a Christian? Holy Ghost is inside of you. That's it. Ah, testimony is more. I said there are many, 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 many more testimonies coming. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I mean many, many, many. Mao gave print testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, Holy Ghost! Yeah, that's it. If indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his, period. I'm not preaching. We are not explaining. No, the pastor is teaching. We just read the Bible. If anyone does not have so some can be part of us, but they don't have the spirit. They are agents. They are not living at the fountain, though. Everywhere I see garden of course, children, they are, they are there. But you have to have a designing spirit to know how far you allow, you allow them to go. You say, really? Why are you surprised? In the book of Job, wasn't it the, the, the source of God that God got together? Satan gathered with them. God spotted me and said, hey, you, you are here. Why are you here? And I pointed away. I don't point to anybody. So I'm just I'm pointing away. So I pointed. I said, why is Pastor Tony? And he said, not you, not you. He's too busy. Okay. He answered. He said, from Roman to and for the earth. That's all he was. That's all his work. That was and still is. What? Roman to and for. Why? We find it when Paul talked about it. Seeking women may devour. Basije. Baje bajentie. You don't need to offend them. They just just to think that you, are, you don't have problems. They just have to think that you are doing good. Most of when you are thanking God, always, ah. Oh, but I mean, you didn't fight your husband. Your husband is not chasing you out. You are not chasing your husband out. Your children, ah. They say, why is this man like this? You're not rushing to do That's all. You just need to be. That's why Jesus himself said, when you see them coming close to you, <laughs> design! You need to design now. So you don't suspect good people. And you don't embrace wicked people. That's why design of spirit is essential. Even the spirit, the spirit life is not a suggestion. It's not even an option. It is compulsory. At this time, this age and time, they were So I said, Jesus said, He said, He comes, he said, He comes not. No matter how fine and beautiful, He has just one aim. And then when you break it into the component, kill, steal, destroy, that's all. Someone shout, Hallelujah. But he said, I have come. So it, 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 it didn't stop there. That you may have what? 
Can you shout life? Shout life. Shout life. 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 Jesus is life. Shout Zoe. Resurrection life. And let me have you how? Um, so you can live here with abundance of life today. In the name. So the only antidote to the stealing, killing, destruction is what? Life. Somebody shout life. Hallelujah. Okay. Just some scriptures. Then we are going to pray. Amen. A good place to start. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let me start. Hmm. Help me put Luke 18. Verse 1. Shall we read together? Then he, I hope you know he is Jesus. Yeah. Then he spoke a parable to them that what? And I hope you know men here is generic. That is human beings, men or women. That men always ought to pray and not, if you look, Put any translation, you see that that lose that is the emphasis there on pray and then not lose that. So, in other words, if you don't want to lose heart on anything, come on, you know, I'm, I'm not preaching, we are just inter- we are looking, no, no, we are just trying to understand. What we are. So, if you don't, if you are losing hope on anything, what was he just teaching about? Do what? I can hear you, otherwise. What does it mean to lose that? You will faint. You will lose. That can result in anything negative. Men always, not sometimes, so pray about everything. You don't want to lose out. So even if you are caught to losing out, make up your mind now that you are going to what? Pray! That's it. And that's what we're going to do today. You heard all those testimonies. The three testimonies before I came, all the testimonies, you heard them. So men always ought to pray. Today, this time is part of always. Come and talk to me. So that trouble that has plagued your mind, troubled your life until now, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. I think one more scripture. That would be good enough for me. Oh, we'll do two more. Let's do two more. James chapter 5. I think verse is. Um, I didn't pick it from there. Let me just quickly pick it up. Because I want to I want to be specific. I don't want us to run around. James chapter 5. I can skip it though. But I think we should look at it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. I say glory be to God in the highest. Oh, I, I, I sense the presence and the victory of God now in the house. I am glad. James chapter 5. Glory. Amen. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to pick the exact place. Where it says the is it sixteen, right? Oh, I see why I'm running into trouble. I'm just a page I'm just a page away from from it. Okay. Okay, I got it. James chapter five verse sixteen. Confess your faults or your trespasses to one another 
and pray for one another. What do you do for one another? Pray. Come on. And why, what are you praying about? That you may be what? Pray. I can hear you. Pray. I can hear you. Pray. Why do you confess your fault? You don't want the devil to have any means of distracting you. So, when it comes, because the first thing he does, when you know you are breaking through, he accuses you straight away. He war you. So say, God, wait, forgive me. Then go to the person and say, Maybe no, forgive me. They say, In the name of Jesus, how dare you? There, that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of who? Come on, help me. What does he do? I can hear you. What does he mean to say I've heard much? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Meet the power available. Well, may, okay, made to meet the power, measure up to the power available. It was, we will supersede that. But that's right, you're right. Glory be to God. It has very much. No matter the, if he's a righteous man praying in the name of Jesus, uh-uh. it will rise up to meet it and overcome it. It's a source of great exploits. In fact, that's your confession when you are facing the trouble. Let no man's heart fail him. Your servant will fight him. You come against me with your javelin, your spears, and your... I come in the name of the living God of hosts. He got everything he said and prayed. Glory be to God in the highest. I very much. Elijah was a man with a nature like us. And he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain. Today your prayer will come true. Amen. The amen is not strong here. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Elijah wasn't born again. Or rather, he was born again in the Old Testament definition. We are superior. Hmm. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. And he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again. And the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. You are coming back with testimonies. In the name of Jesus. So we started by saying that, what is it? Pray. You don't want to be destroyed. You don't want to lose. You don't want to die. You don't want to this. This threatening your life. Pray. That's why we started. And we're not saying, look at it. The effect of having prayer of a man, one man, is enough for the expert required. Then the third one. I may take extra 10 minutes. The third one. But you have to go somewhere. Please don't feel caged. Just stick out. I promise you I'll take 10 minutes, not more. Then the third one. Likewise, Romans 8, 26 and 27. The Spirit also helps in a weakness. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. We don't really know. We have an idea. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Pointing things to us. Now we can concentrate. But the very nitty, 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 Holy Ghost. He knows. It says, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. <laughs> uh, now, he who searches the hearts, our own hearts, knows what the mind of the Spirit is. God is Spirit. <laughs> because he makes intercession for the saints. Uh, 
according what? To the will. So you know there's trouble and you are praying and you know I'm a man all through this place, shakata baika, like you are designing baka shakata ba. You are praying that God cut it, cut it, cut it. He says, No, I won't cut it. I will let it rise. Then I will, I will, I will, I will dissolve it into thin air. So it's rising. I say, But I'm praying. I'm praying, God. I'm praying, I'm praying. He said, Hey. Then you will jump. He knows how to remove it permanently. Cut it, may not remove it permanently. Then you will do what he has to do to give you the result. Let's pray. I want you to start by praying in the Spirit. Holy Spirit, move me now. Make my life whole again. Spirit, move over me. Spirit, move over me. Take a good posture. Take a good posture. Oh, Makasha Katala Baba. Move me. Makarola Baba 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 Spirit oh, oh. One more time, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Hey, Holy Spirit. Makara la bakasha kata la rakata makara bakato boko shakata baba. Me. Flow through me. Flow through me. Flow through me. Said it, not in men and said it. Say, out of your belly shall flow. He will flow. I say, flow, 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 flow. In the name of Jesus. That's it. I believe what he said. That's what happened on Sunday. They were fighting to the nail on Sunday. But he flowed. And he's flowing again. We are coming back with testimonies. The Egyptians who saw you will never see again. The Egyptians we saw, we will never see again. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray in the spirit. I need to hear you pray. I'm asking for silent prayer. Pray. 
Nakatura brava kashanda kraba katura ba. Nakatura brava kashanda kraba katura brava kashala ba. Katura brava katura brava kashanda kada kadiya. Neketu brava katura brava kashala ba. Nakata brava ba. Makata brava katura brava katura brava kashala ba. Nekere brava katura brava kashanda kraba katura ba. Rakanta brava katura brava kashanda brava katura ba. Rakashakata brava katura brava kashada. Nakashakata brava kashakata ba. Brava brava katura brava kashata. Nakata brava katura brava kashaka. Neketura brava katura brava kashedia. Nakata brava katura brava kashakata ba. Nakara brava katura brava. Open your own mouth. Open your own mouth. Makata kwa kusho kasha kasha ka, lakoto braka shaka ta braka shaka, nakata braka shaka ta, lakoko baka shaka ta ka, nakasha kata baka shaka, lakunda baka shaka ta ka yaka, lakata ka yaka ta ka laka, makata ka shaka ta ka yaka, laka ka shaka ta ka ta ka, laka shaka ta ka shaka, laka ka ba ba ba, loko baka shika, laka to braka shaka ta ka, lo bako to baka shaka, laka da braka shaka ta ba, ko baka shaka ta baka shaka. La coco papa, Rabora Baka Shaka Tababa, Nakara Baka Tora Braka Shaka Taba, Nakatura Braka Shaka Taba, Nakara Baka Shaka Tababa, Nakatura Braka Shaka Tababa, Nakara Baka Shaka Tababa, Rakanta Braka Shaka Tabaka Shaka, Rako to Baka Shaka Tabaraba, Raka Shaka Tabaka Shaka Taba, Haka Shaka Tabaka Shaka, Laka Shaka Tabaka Shaka, Laka Tora Baka Shaka, Laka Shaka Tababa, Makata Boraka Shaka, Laka Shaka Tabaka Shaka. Shaka, Raka Shaka, Taka Shaka, Makata Yaka Shaka Shaka, Shaka 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 Shaka, Makoto Baka Rumba, Lakata Braka Shoka, Maka Shakata, Raka Shaka, Makata Baba, Rakasha, Makoko Baka Shaka, Lakata Baka Shaka, Oh, Makata Sha, Laka Shaka, Laka Sha, Sha Sha, Maka Sha, Shakata, Rako Baka Shaka, Laka Baka Shaka, Ramakato Rabaraba, Rakata Baba, Raka Shaka. Shaka, Makoro la baka shaka, Rakata braka shaka, Rako baka shaka, Hey, Makara baba, Ra, Makaka kaka, Ba, 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 Bato senda, bato senda, bato senda, makata baka shakata, mara ba 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 ba, raka shakata ba, makato raba, bato senda, bato senda, baka kasha, makoto raba shaka, raba kato raba shaka, raka nda broko shote bre bebe, raka shakata ba, raka shakata, raka to baka shaka. Laka do braka shaka, laka ta braka shaka, maro la ba 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 ba, laka shaka ta ba ba, laka da 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 da, maka ra ba ka shaka ta ba, laka da ba ra ba 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 ba, laka do bo 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 bo, la ba ka shaka, laka ta ba ka shaka, lako to bra ba ka shaka ta, ha ba ka sha, ba to senda, ba to senda. Bato senda, I unseat, I dig out. Bato senda, makata laba, marabaka shaka, la rabaka shaka taba, la katola baba, makata laba, makato laba, la katola laba. The love, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free. Maka free, maka free from God's sin and death. Free, makato labo, shakata baba baba. Rako to la bara 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 Makasha ra ba ba ra ba bara bara to la bara to la bara to la bara to la bara bara to la bara to la bara shika da bara bara makata bara kasho da bara rakato bara kashaka rakata bara bara rakato la bara kashada rakato la bara bara shaka da bara kasho dia rakato bara bara kashaka rakashaka taba rakashaka taba rakashaka taba rakashaka taba rakashaka taba rakashaka taba rakoto bara kashaka tabo marwa la bara bara makashaka to la bara bara makoto la bara bara shaka da bara kasho da rakata bara 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 flow hallelujah flow malala quickly 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 Quickly, Makata, quickly, Makaya, quickly, 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 Bakaraba, flow, Bak Senda, Makashakaraba, Madabada, 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 Madabada,
Se quer ver o tolo, bora lá. Chaca de abraca tolo, abraca chalva. Na cara de abraca tolo, abraca chalva. Cat tolo, abraca gele, 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 gele. Macata, baca, chaca, tava, baba. Lacata, broco, chorebe. Cat tolo, abraba, baba. Cat tavo, robo, chorebe. Lacata, caixa, cata, tata. Macata, baba, baba. Marabo, abra, baba, baba. Macoto, tolo, bebe, bebe, bebe. Braca, tobre. Leque, tobra, baba. Que de, 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 de. Macata, baba. Ra. Macata, baba, baba. Macata, broco, chorebe, que chorebe. Nacato, na baca, chaca, tava. Bate, senda. Bate, senda. Bate. Holy Spirit! In Jesus' name. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue on this same thing on Sunday. In which, in which case I'll be able to give a little more teaching. But I want you to remember. <laughs> everything God ever created here. Through the Holy Ghost. Everything. Even you. You see what you mean? Without his spirit, will you be alive? Let there be the Holy Ghost moved. And everything you're going to get through the Holy Ghost. Every spiritual blessing in every place is. God is not going to, he's not just going to manufacture it. They're available. You can step into it today. Everything. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. So when we're saying pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit, we know what? After the fire. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Somebody just clicked here. Boom. As I was speaking. Just say, hey. So I got it. I don't know who you are. I don't look for many people now. One person. If you are two, I won't. If you got, if that was you, you just heard it. You say, oh. Finally, I got it. Or something like that. I say, that's it. Where are you? I heard it. I saw it. Leave him, leave him. Let him enjoy it. Leave him. So I say, Holy Spirit! Flow! Flow! Through me, flow! My heart, my liver, my spleen, my kidney, my eyes, my brains, my legs, my breast, flow! My marriage, my children, my finances, my flow! Makashala, makataba. It says it will flow. Say out of your belly. That is from your spirit, man. From your spirit. He will flow. Take charge. Makataka. And then you know what? He quickens your mortal body. He gives life to your body. Flow. Manabara. Mrokotu repekesha na prakatu repekesha laba. 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 Mrokotu repekesha na prakatu you have a problem with pride. Hey, hey, hey. These are the things that they have to cheat you. Holy Spirit, flow! Or is it lost? Is it fornication or adultery? Flow! That's why we pray the way we pray. Oh, no, I, threw, I promise you 10 minutes. I'll soon stop. I hear the effect of having prayer for a righteous man. I this what? Much. Madaba, I this what? Much. I this much? No. Madaba, I don't know. But I control it. I can never control it. I have this what? Much. The effect of this prayer will be much in my life. Much in your life. Whoa. Yeah, live, 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 live. This is day. Madaba, I'm going to go. Holy Ghost! 
the same effect is happening to you. Nothing the devil can put inside permanent. Anything the devil has put in your body. Now, move. I say, move. Say anything the devil has put in my body, my system. In the name of Jesus, move. 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 Back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Makatora bababa shakataraba. Lakotoro bo, shikraba baba, madaba sherebe kotoria. Nakato, makanda broko sherebe. Rakandelele, maka, ekendobo, prakandorobo. Shakada yada baba, raba baba, makadabra. Maraba kateria. Maraba, shakada baba. Amen. Is it just it? Makotoro bagaba. Makotoro bagaba sherebe. Makotoro bagaba sherebe. Shakata bra baba. Nakatora bra baga sherebe. Maraba, I have just two more minutes. In Jesus' name we pray. God gave you a promise at the beginning of this year. You're going to pray it now. You declare it boldly. And any other scripture that God has been expressing, boldly they are coming to pass. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey! Naka randa kashaka pakata kashaka remba kota bakashaka lako bakada dada 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 da makado balaka shaka hey 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 makado balaka shaka lako bakashaka lambara bakashoda bria nekoto bakashaka lakanda bakato makasha makara makata boyaka shaka taka shaka mara baba 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 makata bayaka raka shaka roba romba raka sha makadara makado bakashaka daba raka daba baba baba Shikaraba, Rababa, I see fire. Maraba, Bakaba, Barabakasha, Rabaka Tomba Shaka, Marabaka Toraba, Raka Shakataba, Raka, Holy Spirit, Marababa, Baba, Rea, Makada, Baka, Rakasha, Maka, Maka Toba Shika, Raka Shakata, Raka Shakata, Raka Shakaka, Raka, Maraba, Baba, Poya, Maraba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to thank God. Just lift your hands and give him praise. Give him praise. Let your praise become more meaningful. Let it be spiritual. Yes, I give him praise. We give him praise. We give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! The next time I meet you, you are grown in grace. The next time I meet you, you are deeper into the spirit. In fact, your parents, they will see Holy Ghost. My parents, they will see Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. He wants to be part of everything you do. The life you live as a Christian is a collaboration with the Holy Spirit. It's where you don't know that you get threatened and get attacked by all this nasty, and lousy, wicked spirits just following you to, to, to stop you. They can't in the name of Jesus. We give God the glory. We give him the honor. It's a new beginning for you. In the name of Jesus, let you begin it for me, for Fountain, for Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, you say, Why is it Nigeria? We are Nigerians, we are here, we are children of God, we are part of the kingdom. Ah, I think God will just leave us to just get wiped away by some. I beg. Okay, let me keep quiet. Let me keep quiet. I don't. If you don't have permission, you can't talk. Aren't you glad you came to church? I am glad I came to church. And I'm glad you were able to make time to come. And everybody will come back with testimony. And those on the, online, you'll come back with testimonies. In the name of Jesus. If you're here today and you don't know Jesus as Lord and Master, you know you have a problem. 
You've got to have his spirit in you for you to be part of him. You've got to accept him as your Lord and Savior. So if you are doing that, say with me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying in my place. Join them. Thank you for dying in my place. Thank you for, cle- I mean, for cleansing me from my sins. Give me the grace and fill me with your spirit to live for you and to serve you the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It's like I shouldn't let you go, but I have to let you go. It's good to fellowship with the brethren, with the Holy Ghost. I, I say it again, you have results. Somebody was praying for the cousin or for the sister. Somebody was not here. Before you get home, you hear news. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost is real. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. You see, when you are in the Holy Ghost, you don't see distraction. Those who like you, those who don't like you, those who... Instead, those who enhance that Holy Ghost fellowship, God will be pushing them to you. True. Even bring those you don't know. I'm so glad I belong to Jesus. I do. I belong to my God. I'm so glad I I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. One more time. I'm so glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. I'm so glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to God. Let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. And so sin shall not have dominion over us, because the same, the same Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells where? Inside of me. And he's strengthening and quickening and giving life to my physical body. To the glory of his holy name. Amen. Come on, give God a good clap offering. Have a beautiful weekend in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah.